Hi friends, let's fine tune an embedding model to improve the performance of rack retrieval. In this table, we have information retrieval scores for our original model, which is 0 0.76. And then we have the same score for the fine tuned model 0 0.82. That's a performance improvement of over 7%. Alright, that's the first thing. And the second thing we are going to do is using a very interesting technique called Matryoshka representation learning. From our embedding vector, we will choose only the first n values while retaining as much accuracy as the original model. For example, for the embedding model, we chose we have 768 uh, dimensions, right? That gave a score of 0 0.82. As you can see from, as we go down here, we are reducing the, are selecting only the first n components of the vector, right? For example, here, we have selected only the first 64 values out of these 768 uh, dimensions. Yet, we have the information retrieval score of 0 0.78, which is still higher than the 0 0.76 of our original model. So, we have 12 times smaller size. You can imagine how much storage that will save and also how fast our retrieval process uh, becomes. Yet, the performance score is still higher compared to our baseline model. Okay, so we will see how to do uh, uh, this. All right, so you need a GPU. Uh, uh, since we are going to fine tune the model using Hugging Face Transformers library, uh, mine uh, just got disconnected. So choose uh, the free uh, uh, Collab uh, uh, instance. All right. Mm. So you need a hugging face key. Uh, and then uh, the main libraries are going to be sentence transformer, uh, torch, uh, of course, uh, and the transformers. Now, with any fine tuning exercise, whether it is LLMs or embeddings, preparing the data set uh, is the most uh, involving part. Uh, so for fine tuning embedding models, uh, we can prepare the data set uh, in three different formats uh, depending on uh, the use case. Uh, the simplest one is this positive pair, uh, which simply has two values per row. So we have a query, user query, and what's the right context or uh, this answer, right? For example, like here, we have a question and then what's the context? Now, this method is suitable for uh, rag-like uh, systems like natural question answers, a sentence comp uh, compression, etc. And the second type is called this triplets method, where we have the question, uh, which is called anchor in this case, the positive context as well as the negative context. Okay. One example where it might be useful is this Quora uh, triplet uh, on Quora people ask uh, questions, right? So we might want to find which questions are similar and which questions are not similar. So with this positive, we have similar question pair and with the negative, we have not similar question pairs, right? And when we have multiple contexts, we can use uh, this pair with similarity score where in addition to the query and context, we also have the score. Okay. So for this exercise, uh, we are going to go with this positive pair uh, where we simply have a question uh, and the relevant context. All right. So load the data. Uh, so this one is related to uh, the financial uh, QA data set. Uh, it's prepared by this uh, Phil who also prepared uh, uh, this uh, notebook. All right. So just read the data, 
and save it as these JSON files. Now, we will be using uh, this BGA embedding model, uh, which is one of the most uh, commonly used model on hugging face. Uh, it's developed by this Beijing Academy of Artificial Intelligence. All right. Now, this model, uh, it has a dimension of uh, 768 and it's only 100 uh, uh, um, million parameters. Uh, so it's quite small, yet uh, very powerful. All right. Um, as I mentioned, we will be looking at this information uh, retrieval score, uh, which has a bunch of metrics. Uh, and specifically, we will be looking at this normalized uh, discounted uh, cumulative gain. Uh, that's a bit mouthful. But essentially, we have a query and then we have, let's say, top end documents retrieved. So we have the rank of each document, right? So it uses this logarithmic uh, to uh, reward or to punish uh, uh, based on where the relevant document is scored uh, in this ranking. All right. So what we are going to do is uh, we have the original 768 dimensions and then uh, using that uh, MRL uh, technique, we will be choosing 512, 256, 128 and 64 uh, dimensions only uh, and uh, <coughs> we compare uh, the model performance against the original model. All right. Uh, the fine tuned model performance. All right. Um, so a very standard hugging face stuff. Uh, so this is our model. And then uh, so this Matryoshka dimensions uh, as we just discussed and then uh, get the model using the sentence transformer. And again, we load the data uh, using the JSON files we just saved. And then uh, we prepare uh, the data in the form of this anchor a uh, positive pairs uh, to fine tune the model. All right. And here what we are doing is we are simply going over. Uh, so we are computing the baseline performance. Okay. We are not uh, doing any fine tuning yet. Uh, so we are taking the original embedding vector and we are choosing uh, the first 512 components, first 256 components, uh, so on and so forth. And for each of them, we will be computing uh, this information retrieval score. Okay. So here we are simply truncating uh, the dimensions. Okay. All right. And we have the evaluator. So we simply run the evaluator using our original embedding model with different dimension size. Okay. And here we have the scores. Okay. So as we have fewer and fewer components, obviously uh, the performance of the model uh, or the retriever is reducing, uh, which is what expected. But we will see when we fine tune the model with the help of this MRL technique, what happens is, for example, here, as we reduce the dimension from 768 to 64, you will see the performance has dropped by over 15%, right? Now, when we do with MRL technique, compared to the model with full dimension, for the model with only 64 dimension, we have significantly less drop in the performance as compared to uh, here where we have not used any uh, MRL technique. All right. Okay. So in order to fine tune, uh, we need to choose a loss function. Now, which loss function we choose, it mainly determined by uh, how, what format our data set is. So in our case, we have a question an answer or maybe a, a query or anchor and positive pair, right? So for this, we will be choosing this multiple negative ranking loss uh, function. Uh, the way it works is, so basically for every question, we have one positive context and all the remaining ones are negative context. Okay. So that's where it is coming. This multiple negative ranking loss. Okay. All right. Um, again, so just 
accessing our original model and then so these are the dimensions uh, uh, we want to fine tune the model for and this is where uh, the technique comes in so this uh, matryoshka uh, lask uh, which when fine tune the model it try to create the embedding vectors so that the important dimensions are at the very beginning of the vector so that if we can as we cut the tail we don't lose much accuracy okay so that's the last function we define and then uh, again very standard uh, hugging face stuff uh, so first we set uh, some arguments uh, for the fine tuning job now uh, the important one is because we are using uh, the free uh, collab instance uh, which has only 16 uh, gig ram now reduce these three numbers so i'll pro provide the link to the original notebook uh, which has these batch sizes of uh, 32 but we run out of memory so reduce that size to just 16 and these two numbers to 8 from 16 and also uh, set these two uh, uh, parameters to false uh, i ran into some uh, 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 version uh, uh, etc issues okay all right and then uh, we define the trainer uh, simply using the training arguments as well as the data set and the data set format the last function and how we want to compute or evaluate uh, the performance as we train the model okay and then it's simply a trainer dot train and we save the uh, trained model so one of the arguments we gave is this output directory which is where our uh, trained model going to be saved now if we want to push the model to the hugging face hub uh, it's a simple one liner now don't worry this error is coming from uh, when i was trying to push to the hub but we don't need to we just train the model and save it to the local okay so we train the model for just uh, four epochs uh, as you can see these four epochs uh, how the training loss uh, has reduced from 0 0.42 to 0 0.08 and there are a bunch of metrics like accuracy precision recall so on and so forth uh, but let's look at uh, the metric uh, which we are interested in that information retrieval score right all right so as you can see uh, the original notebook uh, it was uh, trained on this g5 uh, 2x large on aws uh, i guess this is one of the SageMaker instance which is a uh, much powerful and it hardly took three minutes uh, on collab it took me about uh, maybe 20 minutes 15 to 20 minutes all right so we reevaluate the performance and compare that against the baseline okay so it's exactly the same this time we are loading the fine-tuned model from our local okay and we just uh, redo the evaluation okay so here we have the uh, fine-tuned model scores so as i mentioned this is the final table this is the original dimension 768 uh, original model score 0 0.76 and the fine-tuned model score 0 0.82 so that's a significantly uh, improvement in the performance over seven percent all right and then as we reduce the dimension it's not exactly reducing the dimension but choosing only the first n uh, dimensions uh, so we we cut as much as 12 times and compared to the original model where the model performance has dropped over 15 percent for this one as you can see it dropped from 0 0.82 to 0 0.79 so it's it's a it's a significantly less drop as compared to uh, the original model okay now couple of insights here um all right so with 64 dimensions we still have over 95 percent accuracy when we used uh, this MRL uh, learning technique all right now with 256 dimensions uh, here we still retain 99.5 percent accuracy but reducing the dimensions by three times so uh, and imagine how much fast our rack system becomes when we reduce the size size of the embeddings by three times because that uh, that reduces the cosine uh, computation the storage uh, 
uh, improve the latency so there are a large uh, number of benefits when we have smaller dimensions uh, for the embeddings all right now as i mentioned uh, the very interesting thing is the fine tuned model with 64 dimension still outperform the original model with all the 768 uh, dimensions all right so looking at this table the sweet part uh, seem to be around this uh, 128 so with 128 we reduce the size by six times and we still maintain uh, about 99 percent uh, of the uh, accuracy okay now i know we did not go too much into the details of the code but if you used hugging face library and transformers uh, it's a very standard one but if you do have any questions uh, do let me know in the comments thank you very much